Christmas and the breakdown train. Every day, the fat Troy came up to say to, to Thomas, Thomas, don't let them silly tricks bother you, said, said Sir Topham Hat. I got a special job for you, said Sir Topham Hat, and he said he went away. Thomas was working very hard, and he saw these two two strange things in the coach that his driver called Grains. This is the breakdown train, said his driver. This can lift up coaches, engines, and freight cars. Then there was trouble. James was James was running too fast with, uh, with a bunch of trucks. Thomas was pulling. Thomas was pushing the tra- the breakdown train through James. Hopefully, he isn't hurt," said Thomas. Da, 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 da. James was hurt. He James was hurt. The driver and fireman were feeling all around him to see if he was hurt. Then Thomas came with the bre- with the breakdown train. Thomas lift, lifting the cars back on the tracks. Boop. Thomas was biffing them. That's what you get. That's what you get," said Thomas. "Oh dear! Oh dear!" said Tom. Said the truck. Then it was James' turn. He was lifted back on the tracks. But then he couldn't move. So then, Thomas had to couple up to him. Then Thomas coupled up to him, and they went off. Good job, Thomas, for being a very useful engine. You shall have a bread train of your own and two coaches. Then Thomas had two coaches of his own called Annie and Clarabelle. He liked to push them backwards and forwards. And that's this and that's the story of Thomas and the breakdown train. Choo choo. Guys, hello, it's Creepy Master 22. I'm gonna keep on doing these old railway stories, so see.